I'd sacrificed everything. And it meant nothing. Welcome back, Screen Crush. I'm Ryan Airy. After watching Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, you're probably wondering what's next for Wanda. She went all evil, killed a bunch of people, and almost broke reality. But in the end, she got a semblance of redemption after sacrificing herself to destroy the Darkhold. She then collapses the Darkhold castle, and it looks like Wanda dies in the process. But we all know Wanda isn't really dead. No one's ever really gone. As the castle caves, there's a red glow, signifying Wanda's power. So she probably either protected herself from the rebel or she teleported. Whatever it is, Wanda survived. She's still alive. Now, no one really dies in these movies, and even the dead tend to come back to life. And even if Wanda was dead for real, and she's not, there's a whole multiverse of Wandas out there. So this is not the last time we've seen Wanda in the MCU. You're wondering what happens now. So where does Wanda go from here? What's her redemption arc? And can she even be redeemed after everything she did? I know you'll set everything right. Just not for us. No. Not for us. Now, after WandaVision, we all assumed that Wanda worked through her grief. But yeah, it turns out she had a few more steps to go. She was corrupted by the Darkhold and turned into a full-blown villain, going all Daenerys Targaryen on pretty much everyone. Well, if that makes me a villain, then so f***ing be it. Now, she did all of that because she wanted to be with her kids. And the Darkhold showed her countless other universes where her variants got to be with Billy and Tommy while she was the only one that was left all alone. It doesn't seem fair. That's why she wanted America Chavez's power, because then she could travel to any one of those universes and be with her boys. WandaVision taught us that Wanda will do anything for her family, and that is exactly what she did in Multiverse of Madness. But in the end, she saw the error of her ways and she sacrificed her life to destroy the Darkhold's magic. But of course, Wanda isn't dead. I'll be back. And next time we see Wanda, she will probably have a redemption arc. And yes, Wanda can still be redeemed despite everything she's done. And we have an idea on how that redemption story is going to play out, but I'm going to go over that in just a little bit. Wanda's most powerful scene is when she realizes that she became the villain of her own story. When she meets Billy and Tommy in Earth 838, they are afraid of her. They don't see their mother, they see a terrifying witch, a killer who hurt their mother, a monster that they need to hide from. This breaks Wanda, and that is the moment when she understands just how evil she's allowed herself to become. Wanda took over Earth 838's Wanda's body, using her to kill the Illuminati. She then attacked Earth 838 Wanda and would have killed her and adopted her kids by force. And yet, despite it all, Earth 838 Wanda still forgives our Wanda. She shows her that they can both be good, that there's still another path, and she doesn't need to be the villain of her own story anymore. Maybe I don't want to be the bad guy anymore. It's a heartbreaking moment, and that's why I think that Wanda's evil days are now behind her. It'll be pointless for her to continue being a villain. She reached the conclusion of that arc. Now it's time for a long and hard road to redemption. As Wanda breaks down, Earth 838 Wanda embraces her and tells her, know that they will be loved. And that signifies the end of Wanda's quest to find her children in the multiverse. Now, while she won't get to be with Billy and Tommy in her universe, there's solace in the fact that there are other Wandas in the multiverse that will love her kids. And now it's time for Wanda to move on with her life and find something that will give her true happiness and love without reshaping reality or forced multiversal adoptions. And there is someone in Wanda's universe who loves her, and that's White Vision. Wanda. Or I guess at this point he is Vision since he retained the memories of the Hex Vision. And that is the original Vision's body which was fixed. You are familiar with the thought experiment, the ship of Theseus in the field of identity metaphysics. Naturally. That was the whole point of the ship of Theseus thing in the show. So yeah, this, this, this is just Vision now. I am Vision. Since he has all of his memories back, or at least most of them, that means Wanda might still get her happily ever after with her synthesoid lover. So Wanda and Vision will be reunited, but they are both very different at this point. So both of them will have to go on some serious soul searching to rediscover who they are. That sounds like the perfect story for season two of WandaVision. But before Wanda and Vision get that happy ever after, Wanda needs her redemption arc. And we think we know where the MCU is going to go next with her character. Now, most fans will bring up House of M as Wanda's next story. Now, in case you don't know what House of M is, here's a quick recap. In the story, Wanda changes reality. She created a world where mutants are the majority ruling the human race. And, oh, by the way, Wanda is a mutant in the comics as well. At the end of the story, Wanda changed reality back to normal, but not before saying three reality-altering words. No more mutants. 
And with these three words, 90% of mutants lost their powers. That's how powerful Wanda is. I could simply snap my fingers. They would all cease to exist. But I don't think that House of M is Wanda's next story, because WandaVision and Multiverse of Madness are basically the MCU's very loose adaptation of House of M, since both stories dealt with Wanda messing with reality to deal with her grief. Having another story like that again, I'm just gonna be too repetitive at this point. House of M could happen at a later point, but right now, mutants haven't even been introduced in the MCU, so that story is a long time away. But there is a story that I can see being Wanda's next chapter in the MCU, and that is the Children's Crusade. After the House of M, Wanda lost her memories and became engaged to Doctor Doom. I'm not amused. It's revealed that Wanda reincarnated her sons, and now Billy and Tommy are the heroes Wicked and Speed, and they are part of the Young Avengers. And like we've talked about on this channel quite a bit, the MCU is definitely setting up the Young Avengers. We have so many members of them who have been introduced or are about to be introduced into the MCU. We've got Kid Loki, America Chavez, Cassie Lang, Patriot, Wiccan, Speed, and of course, Kate Bishop. Kate Bishop. <laughs> So Dr. Doom tries to steal her power to become a god, so everybody has to stop him. In the end, Doom sort of absolves Wanda of her actions in House of M, since he reveals that he was sort of behind it all. And that begins Wanda's redemption arc. Now, I doubt the story is going to play out in the same way in the MCU, but I can see Marvel adapting some parts of the Children's Crusade and Wanda's redemption in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. The next time we see Wanda, she might actually lose her memory like in Children's Crusade, and she might actually wipe her own mind. Why would she do that? Well, if she forgets who she is, maybe that will prevent her from accessing her powers. Wanda would be so ashamed and depressed by what she's done that she would decide to not deal with that pain. So she locks away all those memories and wipes the slate clean. Now it's obviously not the most healthy way to deal with trauma. Show Severance proved that. I give consent to sever my memories between my work life and my personal life. But that's part of what makes Wanda such an interesting anti-hero. She is simply unable to overcome things like most people because she is not like most people. So the best alternative for her is to just forget about it and start over. And that is when Vision will find her and help her rediscover who she is and help her deal with everything she's done. And at the same time, Wanda will help Vision to understand who he really is. This will allow Wanda to rebuild herself. Her past will always haunt her, but it doesn't have to shape who she could become. Don't let your past dictate who you are, but let it be part of who you will become. But before this happy ending can be achieved, Wanda and everyone else will need to deal with this upcoming multiversal crisis, and that is how Wanda's gonna get her redemption. Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness establishes the biggest threat to the multiverse, and that is incursions. Now, it's basically when two Earths collide, destroying whole universes. We talked about that a lot in our Ending Explained video, so be sure to check that out for everything you need to know about incursions and what it means for the next multiversal crisis. So, in the post credit scene, Clea shows up, telling Steven that he's caused an incursion, and now they are gonna go fix it. But that's just the start. There are going to be a lot more incursions, because the whole multiverse is in danger of being destroyed after the events of the movie, and a lot of stuff that happened before, like at the ending of Loki. And that is going to be the MCU's next endgame. It's going to be this massive multiversal war, which was known as the Secret Wars in the comics. Each variant fighting to preserve their universe and annihilate the others. And we think that multiversal war is going to be Wanda's redemption arc. Multiverse of Madness basically confirmed that Wanda is the most powerful hero in the MCU. Well, uh, maybe that's not true because I'm not sure if hero applies to Wanda right now but the most powerful part is 100% correct. She wiped the floor with the Illuminati, a team of superheroes who are supposedly the mightiest heroes in their universe. I mean, she beat Professor X in a mind battle. She broke his neck in his mind and that made him die. That is freaking badass. That's some badass shit. It's pretty badass. She Matrix Black Hole's mouth and made him blow his own head off. And she destroyed Captain Marvel. Sure, I mean, that's not like our Captain Marvel, but I assume Carol and Maria's power levels are sort of the same. This means that Wanda is one of the most powerful beings in the entire multiverse. And since the multiverse is going to war, Wanda is Earth's best weapon. Once the incursions start, it'll mean that realities will begin to collide with each other. Universes will be invaded by other universes as everyone will fight for the survival of their own reality. And this will lead to the entire multiverse collapsing. There was a vast multiversal war 
nearly resulted in the total destruction of, well, everything. And this is also where some elements of the Children's Crusade can work. I can totally see Wanda working with Doctor Doom as they try to stop the incursions. In the comics, Doctor Doom was working on understanding incursions and what causes the decay of the multiverse. It was actually Doctor Doom who saved reality from being completely wiped out, though he made himself like a god in the process and ruled his own pocket reality. With the incursions happening in the MCU, that's how Doctor Doom could be introduced, because while he's technically a villain, Doom wants to save the world, even if it's just so he can rule whatever's left. This world is mine to rule, and mine alone. Doom is always 10 steps ahead of everyone else, so he will be one of the first people to investigate these incursions, trying to save his universe from ending. And then he will meet Wanda. Actually, I can see Wanda traveling to Latveria, the nation that Doom rules. Sokovia is supposedly not far away from Latveria. So maybe Wanda goes on some soul searching after the events of the Multiverse of Madness. It makes sense for her to go back home, try to find a new path forward in her place of birth. There, she might learn that Latveria became a safe haven for the people of Sokovia after Ultron. And that's how she meets Doom. And of course, with her power, Doom is going to recruit her to help him with this multiversal crisis. I want you to join me. We can rule together and bring a new order to the galaxy. Wanda will jump on the opportunity to do some good and find a new purpose. So she won't realize that Doom is actually manipulating her, using her power to achieve his own goals. And this puts Wanda right at the center of the multiversal crisis, because Doctor Doom will probably play a huge role in it, at least if Marvel follows the story of Secret Wars. And I see no reason why they shouldn't, because Doctor Doom is such an amazing character, and his story in Secret Wars is so good. Anyway, since Wanda is basically a godlike being, that makes her reality's best hope against the upcoming collapse of the multiverse. In the comics, when the multiverse ended, Doctor Doom obtained the power of godlike beings called the Beyonders to save the remains of the multiverse to create a new pocket universe. Now that saved reality from being completely wiped out. In the MCU, Doom might steal Wanda's power and do the same thing. And this could lead to Wanda eventually saving all of reality and restoring the multiverse. I mean, how badass would it be if Wanda dreamwalks and connects her mind and magic with every other Wanda in the multiverse so they all unite to save reality? Now that is one hell of a redemption for Wanda. And also, since universes will collide with each other, that opens the door for Wanda to reunite with her kids. Billy and Tommy are out there in multiple universes, and chances are they will end up meeting 616's Wanda sooner or later. And that's how they can enter the MCU as real boys. I'm a real boy! There's also the option for Wanda to deal with some supernatural threats. I mean, she is a witch after all. With Moon Knight, Marvel is delving into the supernatural corner of the MCU. Blade has already been introduced. Sure you're ready for that, Mr. Whitman? And seems like it's leading to the creation of a new team, the Midnight Suns, a group of anti-heroes who deal with supernatural threats. So we made a whole video about the Midnight Suns recently, so be sure to check it out. Wanda might end up joining this team after Multiverse of Madness. Maybe her tampering with the Darkhold unleashed some evil supernatural force in the world, and now she needs to clean up her mess. She can't ask the Avengers for help since she's basically public enemy number one right now. Could you use an Avenger? There are other Avengers. We'll get you back on the lunchbox. So instead, she will join forces with a supernatural team of anti-heroes to deal with the threat. The Midnight Suns are a team of cursed heroes who have dark past, so that definitely fits into what could be next for Wanda. So these stories are probably what's next for Wanda Maximoff, but what do you think about all this? Where do you think Wanda goes next? Can she be redeemed? Let us know in the comments below, or you can add me on Twitter. And if it's your first time here, please subscribe and smash the bell. For Screen Crush, I'm Ryan Airy.